I'm just about to work out. It is 5.25 in the morning. I am still tired, but I'm going to do this workout and get it done and out of the way because I always feel more awake and a lot better once I get it done. So. <laughs> visualization of how I want my day to go. Otherwise, when I like visualize it in the morning, I feel so much better about where I want it to go. It may not always go that way, but it gives me some goals for the day. And then I journal, which I like to do to just get all those negative thoughts out so I'm not carrying them with me all day. So when I do my spiritual practice in the morning, I like to look out this window up into the sky. I just kind of talk and um, get out my feelings and try to connect um, spiritually. I don't want to go into what I believe in spiritually, but because um, that's not what my blog is about. But I like to just view up at the sky. Um, I'm going to be sad when it's dark at 6 o'clock still when winter comes, but I really like this view. Getting down to eat and write a blog post. You can't see that screen anyways, but... And my coffee, I have a whole grain um, waffle with peanut butter on it. And I'm about to bust out blog post. It is now 6 a.m. So I got about half an hour to get this written. So, blog post is written. Yay! Ignore the ugly wallpaper behind me. I was supposed to scrape it like two weeks ago and paint the kitchen. And I still haven't gotten it done. I might try to get to it this weekend, but not on the top of my list right now, but my blog post is done. Um, my husband just left for work. He has to be to work at 6.30 in the morning. So, um, yeah, now I'm done eating. I am about to go shower and get ready for the day. little boy woke up. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we are about to go get breakfast. Well he is and I'm going to pack my lunch for the day so that I can eat right all day at work. I'm going to make my lunch for work. I am having spinach. Taco cheese because it's the only cheese that we have. And Caesar dressing. And we really need to go grocery shopping, so at work I'm going to get some grilled chicken and probably some croutons to add to this so that I have some protein, maybe a hard-boiled egg with some more protein. Um, my mid-morning snack is apples and cinnamon Quaker oatmeal. And my afternoon snack is a Nutri-Grain bar. Because we have to go shopping and I really don't have a lot of stuff, but this will be better than the stuff that the cafeteria serves at my work. So I'm going to make this up. This dreary, dreary day out. Look. I wish the sun was shining. I'm hoping it comes out later. I'm about to go wake up my oldest now because um, she's going to babysit today. Um, the girls have decided not to be on camera today, so 
you probably won't see them in this video and I have given them that decision if they don't feel comfortable I'm not going to force them to um, that might change with the middle one later on sometimes she changes her mind but I don't think the oldest will so I know she definitely doesn't want to film when she first wakes up so I'm going to go get her the little one is playing Star Wars Legos where are you? <laughs> so he gets an hour of um, TV or video game time in the morning and then he gets an hour after lunch so that's how we kind of keep a minimum on that during the day because otherwise he would sit there all day and play video games the entire time I'm at work hey, I'm at work now I really don't want to go in I really don't like my job but it pays the bills I'm trying to be positive about that um, I do start a new job soon. I don't have a date yet. I'm waiting for it. So as soon as I get that date when I can start, I'll be very happy to go over there. But, um, I can't film in work because it is a hospital, so there are, um, confidentiality rules. So I might be able to film on my lunch break because I eat in the back room and there's no confidential stuff back there. So I might film my lunch or I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I go in here from 8 to 4. Monday through Friday. It's very boring. I sit there and I scan papers all day. I try to take some walks during the day, but it looks like it's going to rain, so I might not get my walk in today, which makes me sad because it's like a nice little break. Maybe I'll just walk around the hospital for a little bit. <laughs> so, lunch break with my yummy salad. I'm very excited to eat. I got some chicken and some of these, I think they're Texas strips or something instead of croutons. Yummy, yummy. Got to eat. And enjoy my half hour break. So I decided to go for a walk on my break. It's a nice day out. A little humid, but for the most part, pretty nice. And it's nice to get out of the office. My office doesn't have windows, so I don't get to see the sun all day. Which I guess that's probably why it's a very depressing job, too. But, anyways, it's just nice to get out, get a walk. Clear your mind. Hey, four o'clock. I'm out of work. So, so happy. <sighs> it's very, very hot though. It says 92 in here. <sighs> but um, on my way home, uh, my husband usually has dinner ready. I know. I am spoiled. I don't cook. My husband cooks. He likes to cook. So, um, he usually has dinner ready when I get home. I know we eat really early, but we also go to bed kind of early. So, <laughs> we're usually in bed by 8, lights out by like nine usually ten at the latest but so i don't know what's for dinner tonight but whatever he makes um i will show some to you um tonight might be a little tricky my girls have requested not to be in the video which i am going to respect their wishes if they don't want to be in the video that's fine my son loves the video so but um so it might be a little tricky to try to show some things but we will see how this goes. So I'm about to drive home because I'm starving and I'm just ready to go. I'll do a video with you. <laughs> Did you miss me? Yeah. Yeah? How much? Really? <laughs> so, oh, you're like a monkey. Hot in my house. Our central air broke. And of course, super humid. But I'm gonna go eat that yummy chicken that you just saw and then do all my chores and then I am going to go for a walk and sweat my ass off. Okay, I just got back from my walk. <laughs> Walked up the hill and then down the hill and then up the hill. I'm tired. So now I am going to go make a shake and then um, I think I'm going to get a little bit of work done on a course I'm developing for my blog, which I'm really excited about. Um, I've been working with a really great coach lately and she's been helping me a lot, so I'm excited to get um, some work done on that. So I'm probably going to sit down and probably hang out in the living room so I'm around everybody at least and hang out and do some work on that. So. Right now I'm going through all my notes from my coaching call, yes call yesterday, um, trying to get my thoughts organized because I am working on developing my course to help overcome perfection. Um, right now I'm contacting people and having some coffee chats and um, emailing people to see you know, what 
their main issue is with overcoming perfection. So um, I got my computer up. I'm ready for that too. That's my Sunday basket. If you don't know what a Sunday basket is, go to organize365.com. Um, Lisa Wood Woodruff, I think her name is, um, designed that. It's basically you throw all your papers in there. If you don't need them till Sunday, and then every Sunday you go through and you touch every single piece of paper. If you don't need it till next Sunday, it goes back in the basket. If you need it before then, then you deal with it. I kind of like it. I just throw everything in there basically and go through it on Sundays. If you're interested in maybe giving me some feedback on why um, any issues you're having with overcoming perfection or just your struggles as a busy mom, um, I'd love to have a coffee chat with you. Just um, email me. I'll link it below. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I can link it below. <laughs> or um, my email is jillian at doingawaywithperfect.com. Um, or I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Message me. You'll get me. Twitter. I'm not on Twitter a lot, but I get my messages. Um, so yeah, just let me know. I'd love to um, meet moms who are struggling with this and like pick your brain to know more about um, how you're feeling and what we can do to help you overcome it and live a more relaxed life so that you can enjoy time with your family and kids and actually enjoy time alone too because that's what I've been learning to do. So yeah, drop me an email and let me know. But now... Back to my day in life, my kids are, my son is in trouble. He's actually up in his room. He went in his sister's room without permission and stole her gum. So after I dealt with that fight, he is in his room right now. I made him spit out the gum. And then my other daughter is out. Um, I think we just got a new TV with one of those Roku, Roku, is that what it's called? Roku things? I don't know. But um, she's out there watching that and um, just... And the oldest one is at her friend's house, so that's what's going on right now, but yeah. Like this new Luku, I won't show you. Very nice. I won't show you. <laughs> She's giving me the death glare because she doesn't want to be seen on the camera. <laughs> but I'm expecting her wishes and not showing her on camera. Basically what I'm doing now, husband's downstairs working on his stuff. It's about 6.30 right now, so probably about 7 we'll conspire together and have a little family time. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. We're all kind of tired, so maybe just watch something and cuddle. It's my favorite thing to do. It's almost 8 o'clock. We're hanging out on the couch just watching TV. Chillaxing. <laughs> Can't say chillaxing. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not cool enough to say that. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh. You want to say hi? No. Happy still, in still it. Still can't show, <laughs> can't show her. Tell me in the description. We're just playing around with the new shows that we have on our new TV. Just relaxing until 8, then we're going to go to our rooms and relax. That's the plan. Oh, that's it. Nothing exciting. Tag me in it. Tag me in it. Your Cratchit Square Boots presentation is coming to a new hotel today. Today? Oh! One bad review and she can sink. It's this room. Mom! That time, it's a little after eight. And I'm just waiting for my son to finish his snack. And then I'm going to put him to bed. Read him a story, and then I'm going to lay down. Um, probably watch a few shows with my husband. Not a few, maybe one or two before I zonk out for the night. I usually fall asleep between 9 and 9.30. <laughs> so, I'm going to bed. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life. It was the first one I ever I filmed, so we'll see how it goes.